So the normal process I've been using to create these videos is to come up with a title or a concept and use brainstorming and idea generation to create more ideas and to link ideas to create more content um, for the videos. So, you know, I would have a piece of paper, write down the title, put it in a cloud or a bubble like we used to do in primary school. And whatever comes to mind, I would just put it onto paper and come up with more ideas around the topic that I'm speaking about. But with this video today, I wanted to do something different and not go that direction and kind of mix things up because I think it's always good to switch it up a bit and test yourself. So I didn't do the brainstorming today for this video. I just wanted to come off the top and speak from the heart about the topic today. But I did do a video on brainstorming um, on my YouTube already. So you can check that out on the method that I use to create these videos. <clears throat> and also how I use that um, brainstorming technique to come up with more ideas if it comes to like writing lyrics or coming up with ideas um, you know, for maybe for a video or whatever kind of creative um, project I'm working on at the time, I can use brainstorming as a tool. And coming off the top, speaking from the heart and freestyling is a tool in itself. And you know, you gotta choose what tool out of your toolbox you wanna use in the moment when it comes to your creative endeavors. And along my journey, I've continued to keep filling up my toolbox with different type of tools, different hammers and different spanners for different times that I need them, different bolts and different screws. You know, we're always faced with different challenges and we need to use different skills that we have to, you know, solve those problems. So today I just wanted to speak from the heart, speak off the top and give it a different energy today. So, you know, I can already feel it as I'm doing this video and I'm sure you can as well. So give freely, receive willingly is a quote that I found a couple years back and it was, you know, kind of put things into perspective about giving and receiving, you know, giving to others, giving to the world, giving to yourself, receiving from the world, receiving from others and receiving, you know, blessings from up above and receiving blessings from yourself and help me understand, you know, when it's the right time to receive when it's okay to say, you know, to accept blessings and to accept other people's advances and how to give, you know, and if we, there's always a balance, you know, giving freely, you're giving from a free place and not expecting anything in return and receiving willingly is the contrast to that is opening yourself up to the blessings that someone is trying to give you. Maybe it's advice, maybe it's they're going to pay for your lunch um, maybe it's, you know, just spending time with them. They're, you know, giving you the energy. They're opening themselves up to you. So there is, you know, a counterbalance, you know, to giving freely in charity from an open heart with no expectations. Maybe you're giving someone, um, you know, a homeless person some food. And, you know, people say, oh, people only give homeless people food for their own ego for their own emotion and that could be true that could be another um i guess topic to talk about but you know giving freely from open heart it benefits both parties you know it benefits you because you feel good about the act that you've done especially if it comes from an open heart and the other person feels good receiving that blessing and vice versa like you know if someone is paying for your lunch some people don't want that charity given to them and I think you know partly I was brought up um, not being fully open to other people's giving you know there were certain situations when I was younger I remember in primary school this uh, girl in my class I would have been maybe we would have been like eight years old and she spent I don't know fifty dollars this is in primary school so that's quite a lot of money she spent fifty dollars on buying me books from a, a bookstore that was in school at the time. And I remember my mom said, you know, I think, I guess it was a lot of money, but my mom said, you know, to take the books back. And like, that was a lesson, not really even a lesson, but it was a perspective that was given to me early on to like not receive gifts from other people. And as I've grown up, 
I can see where she was coming from because there was a lot of money. It was probably her parents' money because she was only eight years old. And maybe that instance, my mum was right in giving that back because maybe the parents didn't know that she was spending money on me. But, you know, sometimes we can hold on to those perspectives as we grow older and not be okay with, you know, receiving gifts and advances from others when they're trying to bless us. And so when I did read this quote, you know, give freely, receive willingly, is to receive, you know, willingly, is to always be open to blessings, always be open to advances given your way to people trying to do you good, you know. So, um, yeah, I really use this quote um, and I always remember it when I'm about to give and when I'm about to receive. Like if someone's about to pay for my lunch, pay for my coffee, I'm always saying yes in good heart, especially when it's given to me in good heart because I'm meeting that energy and it's a positive energy. So I always remember this quote, you know, give freely, receive willingly. And of course, I feel like in a lot of my videos, I always give like the yin and yang to the topic, like the good side and the bad side. And, you know, there's always a good and bad in everything. It's kind of depending on the perspective we have on it. So, you know, to receive willingly is to willingly receive whatever. But I think, you know, as people on this earth we need to understand that everything received isn't always good and it isn't always bad either you know so like for example you know it's pretty common sense but if someone's going to offer you something or give you something that's not beneficial to your life then you can say no and not receive it willingly you know and you know i advise this with this advice that i'm giving that you got to be um aware about what you are receiving and not just say yes to anything you know and be aware of what you're giving because you know give freely what are you what are you giving are you giving good energy good vibes or are you giving bad vibes are you giving people a hard time so it's about you know being aware about what you're giving off and being aware about what you're receiving and you know that's just the flip side that i always kind of tend to give with the topics that i talk about is seeing both sides um, to what I'm speaking about and kind of takes me back to when I did that video on comparison is the killer of joy because that video I was talking about you know com comparing yourself to someone else could possibly bring you down because you're saying this person's better more skillful more wiser has more wealth or whatever it is but you could compare yourself to that person and elevate yourself using their energy there's all you know there's no good or bad it's about how we interpret and how we perceive what's going on in this life so yeah that's just kind of the ideas that come off top around this subject and you know like i said before i wanted to switch up the the um idea generation i guess when it comes to these videos to you know push myself out of my comfort zone to see what I would come up with off the top if I just find that flow. And this is what I've come up with so far. So, yeah, I suggest, you know, to do something different every now and again to push yourself and to create new pathways in your brain, really, um, to connect ideas when it comes to whatever art form you're in, whatever career choice you're in, taking a different path, going down a different road to work, Eating something different for lunch is always beneficial just so we don't get stuck in routine and habits and to break routine and habits to discover something new. So I think I'm going to close the video off here anyway, but yeah, uh, give freely, receive willingly, you know, always be open to blessings and doing that, you let the universe know that you're open to receiving blessings because if you keep saying no to, you know, people giving you opportunities people giving you blessings and you know paying for your lunch the smallest thing sometimes even giving way on the road if someone's <laughs> if someone's you know giving you the opportunity to go into the lane and you're too hesitant you know to take it like just even the smallest thing sometimes you need to be like driving is nearly very spiritual i realize sometimes in people drive how their spirit is some people are in a rush some people are open and generous and giving way to people in their lane like not to go too deep but you know the smallest things sometimes reflect us and 
you know, be open to blessings and people giving you things because that's letting the universe know that you're open to more blessings, you know, so, and vice versa with giving freely is giving from a place of abundance that you have more of whatever you're giving, whether it's energy, whether it's some money, paying for someone's food, paying for someone's grocery, it's giving from a place of abundance and you're letting God and the universe know that, hey, I'm full and I'm willing to give. But on the flip side of that, you know, we need to have a full cup of energy within ourselves, um, you know, before we give in abundance. So we need to find our own abundance and energy within ourselves for us, within ourselves first, you know, have our cup full before pouring into others. I'm sure you guys would have heard of that before, but, you know, have your cup full before pouring into others for sure. And then you can pour from abundance into other people. So it's about, you know, maintaining your energy and being self-aware about where you're at financially, spiritually, energetically, how much energy you have in a day um, to give to others. Because, you know, some, some days you might be feeling lower than others and you just can't give the same and it's okay to say no. So... That's just the flip side of that. And I hope these ideas kind of connect um, when I speak on them like this. So anyway, until the next video, hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are living and doing the best you can. Peace out.